Hi, I'm Jennifer Allen reporting for RSNA News. I'm talking with Dr. Constance Lehman, Professor of Radiology at Harvard Medical School and Chief of Breast Imaging at Massachusetts General Hospital, both in Boston. We're talking about the potential for breast imagers to lead the way in artificial intelligence cancer screening through their extensive experience with computer-assisted diagnosis. Thank you, Dr. Lehman, for joining me today. Thanks for having me. Why are breast cancer images, imagers positioned to be the first radiologists to really use AI screening for risk detection? Well, you know, breast imagers have extensive experience in computer-assisted image interpretation, whether computer-aided detection or computer-aided diagnosis. You know, in fact, the first computer-assisted image interpretation pro products that were in routine clinical use were CAD products apply to help radiologists read mammograms better. It was these first products that were approved by the FDA in 1998, and then the clinical use rapidly increased. So what that did was it provided us almost two decades of real world clinical performance with CAD tools applied to help radiologists read mammograms. So we learned a lot over the years and we're taking that knowledge forward into the domain now of AI and screening mammography. What were the results you and your colleagues achieved for your RSNA 2020 research on deep learning algorithms for breast cancer risk? Well, we were excited to discover that AI can help radiologists separate mammograms highly likely to have cancer from those highly unlikely to have cancer. So this was serving as a type of second reader for the mammogram, a, a tool to help triage the more challenging from the less challenging cases. But then we also found that our tools in AI can detect signals in each mammogram that predicts an individual woman's future risk of breast cancer three, four, even five years down the road after that screening mammogram. And this is a new area. This is a new domain for AI and mammography. Why do you think this is important to have an AI tool to predict future cancer risk from the mammogram? To best answer this question, question, I think it's helpful to understand just how limited our traditional methods of finding women at high risk for breast cancer really are. It's well documented that the performance of traditional risk scores are moderate at best. These models were developed almost exclusively in European white women, and they perform extremely poorly in Asian, African-American, Black, and Hispanic women. In fact, Honestly, if they performed in white women at the level they perform in women of color, I doubt that they would be used in clinical practice. And that's a really sad statement. And you know, I knew this literature, but it's when I first saw the performance in our patients at Mass General, the patients I'm taking care of, and particularly the poor performance in our patients of color, that it really woke me and my colleagues up to the problem. So you can imagine how excited we were when we found that our AI tools had the potential to not only access cancer now on the mammogram, cancer present on the current mammogram, but also predict cancer in patients in the future. A totally novel approach to future risk prediction developed from the mammogram, developed from the tools of AI that provides accuracy and equity, we just haven't achieved with our traditional models. And why is that important? Right now, we have clinical programs, interventions to help women at high risk for breast cancer. These interventions help reduce the risk of breast cancer mortality in high risk women, not only by earlier detection, for example, through MRI added to mammography for screening, but also methods to reduce risk, even prevent the cancer from developing. So to be clear, interventions for risk reduction and early detection can be life-saving. But to have access to those interventions, women need to demonstrate that in fact, they are at high risk to have those tests ordered and to have the exams covered by the insurance plans or their healthcare providers and system. And what is the requirement to pass through that gateway? Well, traditional risk models, which are wrong in so many women. So we need to fix this. And now with the tools of AI, we really believe we can. So for radiologists who aren't breast imagers, how can AI assist with mammography? I think the tools of AI, in fact, may prove most helpful for our excellent and numerous general radiologists reading mammograms. Many practices now try to triage certain domains of breast imaging to their expert subspecialized breast imagers and other domains to their general radiologist. 
For example, a general radiologist may help assist with reading screening mammograms, but the expert breast imagers may interpret the breast MR exams and or perform the more challenging biopsies. But excellence in reading mammograms is so essential, and we know there is wide variation in the ability of radiologists to interpret screening mammograms accurately. In fact, we published in radiology that over 40% of certified mammographers in the US fail to meet the desirable goals to keep false positive readings on mammograms low. I think AI is really going to help us in this area. Thank you for your information today, Dr. Lehman. Thank you so much, it was a pleasure. For more radiology news, visit rsna.org news.